Hello, can you hear me? Isha, can you hear me? I can. Hi. Oh, awesome. Yay. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. Let's wait one more minute for Danielle. Okay. And uh, we'll get started. Great. Great. I love technology. It totally works. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> it's so true. So she's joining us from your, from her house? Yes. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe we're live now, Angela. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I did no, not. No, I'm trying to make sure she has the link. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, get started and Danielle will we'll get on in a second. So welcome, Isha. Um, this is Isha Davis, everybody. And um, so the first part of the show, we're going to be talking today about um, Isha and her business and um, some exciting things that she has to share um, that she's doing in the in the space of travel. And uh, and then the second part of our show, we're going to talk about um, traveling on a budget. And we'll have a discussion about that. So um, just want to say thanks again for joining us today, Isha. And um, no. yeah. No problem. My pleasure. I'm, I'm really, really excited to be here. I got a little festive, have some makeup going on for you guys yeah. and my feathers. So I, I decided to go all out today. I like it. I love it. <laughs> so um, so uh, first thing I want to do is just let you introduce your, your company, uh, who you are and how you got started in travel. Okay, sure. So as you said, my name is Isha, Isha Herbert Davis, Isha Davis on Facebook. Um, but uh, my business is Events by Ashe LLC. We are a unique and life changing uh, business. We create uh, travel experiences in the Caribbean for our clients. Um, and that's basically in a nutshell what we do. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, you, as far as getting into travel and doing, you kind of like have a niche market. How did you kind of come about doing that? Mm, goodness. So we're going to go way back to 1998. <laughs> um, and that was my very first Trinidad Carnival as a young adult. Um, my Just to give you a little bit about my background, my parents are from Trinidad. So, you know, grew up in the carnival culture as a child, you know, played mass, did all that kind of fun stuff as a child. And mass, for those of you who don't know, is putting on an actual full costume with feathers and, you know, all that stuff. So fully entrenched in that culture from the time I was able to walk pretty much. <laughs> right. Um, but experiencing it as an adult was a totally different thing. Hey, Danielle. Hey, I've been on. I just don't know why it wouldn't. I have no yeah. idea. I'm talking and I'm like, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Here I am. Technology. Technology. Yeah. It is okay. No worries. <laughs> so I'm here. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been immersed in, you know, Trinidad Carnival culture and just carnival culture in general from the time I was a child. And in 1998, I took my first trip to Trinidad Carnival as an adult um, uh -huh. with, you know, a group of, gosh, 10 to 20 girlfriends, you know, and we would just go every single year from 1998 onward, you know, several years. Um, and that was our stress reliever, you know, that was just the annual thing, girls trip that we did. And, and it was a lot, it was a lot of fun. So I had a lot of experience organi organizing those kind of trips, you know, I would have to get tickets for everybody. Where are we going to stay? Okay. You stay at this one's house. You stay at that one's house. If we need to get a hotel room for you, you know, so I was always organizing stuff like right. whether it was travel to Trinidad or just family gatherings or friend gatherings or whatever. Um, Right. And I love event planning. So that kind of led me to 
um, thinking about if we fast forward all the way to 2010, um, what's the next thing? Because I worked in HR for since 2001 at that point. So that was, you know, almost 10 years. And it was like, okay, so what's the next step? You know, what, what, what can I do? I want to start a business, not really sure what I want to start. And event planning, you know, was at the top of the list. I've been doing it all of these years anyway, right? <laughs> you know, and I enjoy doing it. Um, so I started my event planning business with my husband. We're co-founders of Events by Ashe LLC. And we started that in 2010. Um, I mean, like did a lot of corporate kind of events, but stuff just wasn't really clicking. And um, I think we were thinking about going to Trinidad Carnival the following year, my husband and I. And he was like, you know, I wonder if there's people because we met at Trinidad Carnival. Sorry, backtracking to 2006. We yeah. met at Trinidad Carnival, too. Yeah, so that's, that's an important uh, piece of information. I was going to mention that if you didn't. Just a little. Just <laughs> you met a little. Her husband at Carnival. So. I did. I did. Yeah. So we were talking about our first Trinidad Carnival experiences and he was like, you know, I'm sure there's people who struggle like we did the first time we went to Trinidad Carnival who, you know, don't know where to start. You know, let's maybe let's see if we do that as a group trip one year and see how it goes, you know, and it turned out to be a success. You know, the first year we thought, let's see if we can get 10 people and we got 13, you know, okay. and it's grown every single year since then. And this year we took 44 people. Um, to experience Trinidad Carnival. Uh, we took a group to do Barbados Carnival this year as well. Um, mm -hmm. And that's really how everything kind of started. You know, yeah. it just came out of a love just for travel in general, but definitely right. travel to the Caribbean. You know, yeah. everyone knows the Caribbean as laying on a beach, you know, with a drink and umbrella. And that's really great. However, there are so many other unique and fun. Yes, Danielle, agreed, yeah. agreed. That's awesome on its own. But there's just so many other unique experiences that people can have in the Caribbean that they don't know about, like the carnivals, you know, like um, scuba diving, you know, like so many other things that um, that are unique and really, really interesting um, that can enrich your in, life. Yeah, allow you to get immersed into the yeah you know, into the, the culture. Exactly. Yeah, that you don't normally you know, have the opportunity to do. And, and I like how you talked about, you know, you were, you were the person who was kind of putting those trips together. A lot of the times, I, mean, I think that's how me and Danielle and how a lot of people get started in, in the travel industry, like you're doing it anyway. Yeah, along the way, and you're like, you know, I could be get pay getting paid to do all this work. <laughs> why not? I mean, yeah, it's fun. Why, not? why not? Yeah, why not make it a business? Um, you know, opportunity for yourself and, um, you know, make extra money and, and, and actually do it full time, which is um, kind of what you have evolved into doing, correct? Absolutely. This is uh, this is my full time business, um, you know, doing these group uh, experiences to the Caribbean. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I want to hear a little bit more about Barbados because you, you're kind of promoting that for uh, 2019, correct? Yes, we are. So the dates are August um, 1st to the 6th in 2019. Um, and Barbados Carnival is actually called Crop Over. Um, and it ties in with um, the um, emancipation of slaves in Barbados. And it was around harvest time. So they called the whole celebration of that crop over, like, you know, the overing of the crops, if you want to think about it that way. Um, so it's so the name of the experience is Ultimate Crop Over, um, yeah. you know, to kind of piggyback on Ultimate Trinidad Carnival. We like the ultimate theme and we're sticking with it. Um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> Ultimate Crop Over, uh, as I said, it's in August next year. We did it for our first year this year. And um, for those who are not familiar with Carnival, let me probably kind of frame that a little bit, because a lot of people, when they hear Carnival, they think of the cruise ship. Not that there's anything wrong with Carnival cruises, okay? <laughs> but it's not a cruise, people. That's <laughs> it's not a cruise. Thing. It's not oh, a different. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a tad. Just a tad. Yeah. So, what a carnival is in a nutshell, it is the opportunity to release all of your inhibitions and have fun, dance in the streets, party yeah. on a boat, put on a costume with carnival makeup and feathers yeah. and just really have fun and relief and just be, you and, know. And you're in Barbados people, Barbados. Barbados. <laughs> Rihanna's from Barbados. Yes, she is. Now, let me tell you all, okay? You know, you think you've done the Caribbean thing. You know, I, I've been to the Caribbean. You think, oh, okay, every island is the same. 
No. I'm going to be writing a blog and it's so not, it's so yeah, not, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to be writing a blog over the next couple of weeks of why Barbados should be on your bucket list. I mean, there's just so many reasons why, but you know, I just completely fell in love with Barbados when we were there this year. We went twice this year. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just a gorgeous island. The people are so friendly. And for someone who comes from Trinidad, Trinidad is a bit of an anomaly in the Caribbean because they don't depend on tourism right for their financials so you know tourism people could really care less you know they're you know the customer service is horrible doesn't matter <laughs> where you go it is horrible it is you know okay. what Trinidad, Trinidad is awesome Tobago is awesome and I love yeah. my islands but mm. you know what the customer service is horrendous okay and when yeah. you go to Barbados that's the first thing that you notice if you've been to Trinidad and then you go to Barbados you're like oh my god they're so nice because they actually are nice you know yeah. they 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 talk to you they ask how you're doing you know it's just a different experience so Barbados won me with that like from the beginning <laughs> from the beginning the people are so warm and friendly and then it's just gorgeous you know everywhere you look it's like a picture postcard and then adding on top of that the carnival experience you know it, it was just amazing and then oh my gosh the eye candy was awesome <laughs> That's always a good thing. Yeah, I can't do this great. For us ladies. Yes, for us ladies. But, and you know, if you're a man and you're watching this as well, it's really great for the men too. Yeah, sure. the beautiful women. Yeah, Caribbean women are, are, are beautiful, so. Mm -hmm. It's true, you know we are, Angela. You know you know we are. So, uh, <laughs> amen right. to that. So, um, yeah, so, um, well, um, how can um, people, get more information if they're mm -hmm. in the Barbados crop over trip or even your uh, Trinidad uh, carnival trip that you'll have um, mm -hmm. already sold out for 2019. But I know it you're is, it is. 2019 is sold out. Okay. It's just been a whirlwind, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but 2019 is sold out. Um, we're going to be taking, we're taking people for our waiting list for um, 2020. Well, 2019 and 2020 is like kind of like a dual waiting list right now for Trinidad Carnival. But for Ultimate Crop Over, the Barbados Carnival, we are definitely taking uh, registrations for people who want to travel and have this amazing experience with us. Um, our website, that's the best way to get in touch with us, is www dot trinidad carnival packages dot com backslash barbados festival and i'll add it in the comments to the live um once it's completed angela so people don't need sure. to kind of worry about writing it down <laughs> okay thank you thank you for that so um, in, the, in the comments uh guys i think I and some people were saying that there uh, one lady said she's uh getting ready to plan a birthday trip next year so that would be perfect. Yeah. So, uh, oh my gosh, we get we get so many girls groups celebrating birthdays. Let me tell you, like 30, 40, and 50. We even had a 60-year-old one year for Trinidad yeah. Carnival. Amazing. Amazing. You know, and, and it's just a great experience to have, you know, with your girls, you know, yeah. and, and who doesn't like that? <laughs> Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta talk to my sorority sisters about that. I'd love oh, to. Oh yeah, we gotta go. Definitely. We need to, we need to do that. So. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely gotta do that. I can see us taking over. Know, Barbados okay, take someday. it over in Barbados or Trinidad, right? Yes. We have absolutely. Have show. That would be our request. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Say that again. We have to have pink and green feathers. I don't know if that's, that's true. <laughs> Ooh, we can we can work that out though. We can work that out. You know, I'm with the so we work with um Aura. They are a premium all inclusive um band who provides the costumes in Barbados, uh -huh. and they are. I mean, I loved working with them this year. They are super accommodating. They are just wonderful. So hey, if you want that pink and green, they're still yes. working on their concept for next year. So <laughs> we can we can hook up something. Okay, I'm just I'm just yes. gonna put that out there. Dan. Yeah, you laughing. I'm serious. Oh, <laughs> I okay, put that out okay. there and have a okay, yeah. green section. Okay, I am down. <laughs> okay, sorry. I gotta get some things in order first before. Yes. I... No. <laughs> no. 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 Actually, you know, like, tell her. Tell yeah. Her. <laughs> in the Caribbean, all shapes, all sizes. It doesn't. Okay. 
it's, it's the part of the mm-hmm. culture. You see big and everything from Rihanna's, you know, swelt, you know, figure, slim figure to big and bold beauties out there. Uh-huh. Absolutely. And I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, it is just yeah. so, it's so freeing in that way to be in that space and also to see the love and the joy on these women's in yeah. faces in all shapes, colors, sizes, whatever. Just having a good time and just Absolutely. being. It, it's so wonderful to watch. I, I just love it. It's my favorite part every year. It's encouraging. It's encouraging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, well, <laughs> well, thank you, Isha. You got me all excited about Carnival again. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm turning 52 this December, so that could be my, one of my one of my 50th birthday trips. I'm trying to celebrate the whole year. So I know that's right. <laughs> hey, you know what? Not a lot of people get to meet 50, Angela. You yeah. celebrate and be thankful for that. Like on a serious note. I don't I mean to put a damper on everything, yeah. but, no, 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 but you're absolutely right. Absolutely. That's so true. It's a blessing. I think of that yeah. every birthday I have. So I'm always open to tell people how old I am because mm-hmm. it's a blessing to make that year. I mean, yes. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Still have especially as mommies, you know, we're all mommies here. Especially as mommies, hey, it's a blessing every year that you get to be with your children, you know, and, and just be with your family and who you That's love. True. So, so can know. I ask you the question quickly? Make a tie here. So we talked about potatoes and um, crop over. How mm-hmm. is it with kids? How is it with kids? So, goodness, obviously, carnivals are not. I'm sorry, I'm echoing. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Here you are. Say that again. There you go. If you turn it down, you should be okay. Okay. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, okay, I'm turning it down. Is that better? Yeah. I still hear you echo a bit. I don't hear okay. echo at all. Mine is. Hmm. Oh, I don't hear it anymore now. You're good now. Hear it de- okay, okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah, so obviously, um, Trinidad Carnival is not the trip for children. This is an adult trip. <laughs> Let's yeah. put it that way. But that's important to note. That's important to say. So Absolutely. when people are planning to go to crop over, this is for um, a break from the kids. It is. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is, this is, yeah. So Isha, you can kind of talk about, you know, how it's a good, good thing for, you know, parents, uh, you know, to get away, um, you know, to so, get away, mm-hmm. husband and wife, you know, because men can do this too, correct? Oh, they, yes, they can. Oh, oh yes, they can. Year. So mm-hmm. this could be a great trip for, for couples as well, correct? Absolutely. And we have many couples who tra- who have traveled with us over the years. I mean, the majority of clients that we do have are women and it's, you know, perfect and lends itself to a girl's trip. Right. But we over the years, we've had several couples who have traveled with us and they had a ball, honey. Let me tell you, <laughs> ain't nothing that can reignite a relationship like a carnival. Let me tell you. Okay? <laughs> Look, now, I am going down there I that. something I didn't leave with. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm too old for that now. Oh, not too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm pulling. I'm pulling it together. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I hear you there. I hear you there. Um, but yeah, we had we had couples who have traveled with us before and they have had a ball, you know. So but I mean, absolutely keeping in mind it is definitely an adult trip. Um, you know, for those women, you know, and couples who work hard, you know, work hard, you take care of your kids, you're holding it down. It is so important. And I'm a big advocate of self-care. I'm a big advocate. You too, Danielle. Okay, great. We are on the same page. Self-care. You know what? There has to be a time where you have to have time for yourself. You must have time for yourself. Yes. And, you know, I, um, I'm i a little bit partial to the ladies here because we take on so much. We have so much on our plates, um, especially as black women. You know, we, 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 we hold up the world, right? Yes. <laughs> That's what we do. These hands, they do so much. 
So if you can take a little bit of time just for yourself, do it. Do right. it. Honestly, everything is going to be, it's, it'll be there when you get back. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Your kids will survive without you for a week. You know, they, they sure will. Yes, yeah. yes. So we, a lot of um, the women who travel on our trips, they're single moms. Many mm -hmm. of them are single moms, you know, and they. J this is just their week to let loose, have fun, have a ball and come back. And, you know, they're back to being mommy again. But that's just their personal time. Yeah, yeah. I always have a trip for myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm going away just either, you know, my, me or, you know, with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. I do something with, my, we do a summer vac vacay, you know, as a family. Um, mm -hmm. I don't do that. I'll go crazy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I've got to do it to keep my sanity. Yes. Yeah. You got to have me time. Mm -hmm. um, and what better way than to go some some place tropical and beautiful and and then just have a good time in a, in, at carnival oh my goodness mm -hmm. absolutely and come back absolutely. with that yeah just to unwind you know let your hair down. you know nobody's there to judge you nobody's there saying mom mom mommy you know because <laughs> i need that yeah <laughs> you got to because that will drop your nuts i love i love them to death or no but but yeah. mama needs a break. Yeah, mama mm -hmm. needs a break. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> but we're at the, uh, let's see, half hour mark. I know mm -hmm. we it's late, but we did want to take some time to kind of talk about uh, traveling on a budget. And oh, yes. We're going to definitely gonna... talk about that because when we talk yeah. about going to things like crop over or to the Caribbean or any kind of trip at all, one of the things we need to make sure is understand when our money is funny, how do we do trips? Mm -hmm. Right. Agreed. I'll let you start it off, uh, Danielle. Okay. Uh, so um, one thing that as travel agents we get all the time is the question, oh, I would love to go here. I would love to go there, but I'm just not sure how to pay for it. Right. Um, because let's be honest, it's. I, I think sometimes we need to be very clear. When it comes to travel, we are not going to say that it doesn't take some planning and it doesn't take money. Um, but when it comes to travel, I want to also add the caveat that um, it may not cost as much as you think, and it just really can be done with some proper planning. So one of the first things I tell all of my clients whenever they talk about wanting to travel is to understand the first step, plan early. Plan yeah early. I can't tell you how many times I have people who want to take a trip say, oh, I want to go. Um, I want to spend New Year's Eve in Paris. And it's been my dream to do that. And they contact me in November. Right. And, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. it's too late. Yeah. That's the price <laughs> I mean, alone. You're going to pay an arm and a leg. I mean, you've got to, you, you can't do it. You can't do it and they want to pay in installments and I can't, I have to tell them a lot of times that may not be possible. We can do a trip to Paris. You can go, I can find you a place, but it's not necessarily going to be the most economical place because those were picked up quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I won't be able to get you the best flights necessarily because people have already booked those as well. And as far as payments are concerned, you only have a month and a half. Right. November and December is going to be due. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you basically have to have it all at once. I mean, you need, well, you know, I would say six months to a year. At least six months at least. to a year. At least six months. I know, even when it comes to cruising, um, the final payment for cruises is usually, I think the soonest was, or the latest was like 75 days prior to sailing. Mm -hmm. Prior to departure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 75 right. days. So that's a two and a half months ahead of time before you depart. Right. And so these last minute cruises that a lot of people want to get on, um, you may find it's not possible because cruises are booking year, years. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and um, yeah, what's years left years. aren't usually going to be the cabins you want. Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. I'm sorry, are you saying something. Say that again. I said somebody said something. I didn't. I didn't mean to run over. Oh, oh no. no! I think we were both agreeing with you. <laughs> yeah, and um, so that's the big thing. So planning early is really a huge, huge thing. Um, 
I, um, I run into that all the time. So planning early is important and tied with planning early is also getting like together a savings account. Let's yeah. be honest. My money gets funny too. Just because I'm a travel agent and I get the great deals and all of that jazz, it doesn't mean my money doesn't get funny. Mm -hmm. That's right. My money likes to play jokes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing and that not I'm funny, is it, right? I, well, not that no, not really. It's not funny at all. It is not funny. But one thing my husband and I are committed to doing is having a savings account for um, our trips. And we plan mm -hmm. our trips like almost a year in advance. So anything that you see us doing now, we plan this a year ago, at least. Right. And mm -hmm. um, we've been socking money away into our accounts and um, making our deposits and organizing what we need to do a year in advance so that when it's time to uh, actually have the trip, it's it's handled. So yeah. um, we put aside however much. Well, first of all, we decide what we want to do a year in advance. Next, we just find out how much it's going to cost us. And we like to budget on the high side because life, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then our savings account, we start putting, dividing that up into 12. How much do we need to put aside for a year? And we just throw it in the account every year or every month. So we don't even recognize that it's gone um, from the jump when it's um, payday, paydays. When paydays come up, we just throw that amount of money in the bank. Mm -hmm. And by the time we need to make our payments for all of that, it's just automatically deducted. It's automatically there and we don't have to worry about it. So um, that savings account comes really becomes really helpful. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, so, some people have Christmas accounts. Yes. Say for mm -hmm. Christmas every year, how about having a vacation account instead? Use that money for an experience for your kids instead of presents. I mean, they're gonna pay play with the toys for like what five minutes? Five minutes, if not long. <laughs> if that long. Yeah. I'll never forget the year we got our oldest. She was like six months old and we got her this like a little American girl outfit. You know, American girl, the dolls. Yeah. Those she were so big. Yeah. We didn't get her the doll, but we got her like a little outfit that was an American doll or American girl thing. And it was a little expensive $60 dress for a six month old. Right. Wow. Right. Put it on and hated it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> it up and threw up all over it and started oh, no. it with the ribbons it was wrapped in the ribbons she'd rather, rather play with the ribbons that cost oh. you a dollar at the dollar store <laughs> so i was feeling some kind of way about that i mean it all goes to show i mean she didn't look about that darn dress but she enjoyed them blasted ribbons i'm sorry i'm a little bitter yeah. <laughs> we can, we can release it, Danielle. Release. But you know, it's your first born, you spending all kinds of money. Like, I'm, you know, whatever. The point is, True. you know, the kids they don't care about that sort of thing. What they want is the experience and um yeah. let it go, honey. Let it go. Yeah. And it doesn't and if, it doesn't mean you gotta break the bank, just let it go. Are you gonna say Isha? Yeah, I wanted to kind of piggyback on your um, first number one, step number one, uh, you know, deciding where you want to go. I'm really big on visioning, yeah. uh, creating and manifesting what you want in your life. And that is a great way to um, involve, even if it's a girl's trip, involving your girls, involving your spouse, if it's a spousal trip, and if it's a family trip, involving your family, you know, visioning, you know, what, what are all the fun things that we're going to do when we go to where we, we really are dreaming of going, exactly. you know, and, and figuring out how much is it going to cost us. Um, and I mean, that's just a great step to apply to anything that you want to create in your life, in, in my personal opinion, and I've done it several times. It's just, first of all, thinking about what you want, you know, is it a new car? Do you want to move into your new home? You know, all that kind of stuff. How much is it going to cost you? And working towards that goal. Um, right. You know, it's it's a great thing to involve whoever you're going to be traveling with. Or, I mean, even if it's just you, you know, yeah. it gets you motivated. As long as you're excited about it and you get motivated about it, you're going to make it happen. So, it's, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, like I just wanted to add that piece on. <laughs> no, but it's a good point. In fact, um, I, um, I think it's something that we forget to do, you know, just envisioning the fact that this can actually happen and having that vision, it makes it reality for you. So you're asking, right? Um, I see Gabrielle 
he posted that is so good to come back from vacation and not have any bills afterward. Woohoo, don't you know it? Yeah, yeah. My budgeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so important. You know, you don't mm -hmm. want to have a, the vacation of a lifetime and then have to come home and slave away to pay yeah. for the vacation. Pay, pay off the credit card or whatever you use. I mean, if you save ahead mm -hmm. um, and pay for it, or even if you do it in installments, budgeting into your monthly you know, budget, um, it's paid for. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the trips that we do, they're either all inclusive or they're, you know, most of the meals are included. So mm -hmm. you have to other than souvenirs and you know if you want a souvenir or um you know any there might be a couple of meals that, that are on your own but other than that you don't you're basically just taking yourself on the trip mm -hmm. and, and so you, you come back debt free uh you know absolutely that that was one of the things that i was I wanted to be really mindful about incorporating into my business and the experiences that I created. You know, mm -hmm. um, every single experience we offer has payment, easy payment plans. Um, so by the time you go on your trip, everything is paid for. You don't have to worry about anything. And we handle everything once you get to your destination. So, exactly. yeah, yeah, strong believer in that. Costume and all, right? You know, Costume so. and all, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, again, it takes off um, moving so, off. Green feathers off. and all, right? Okay. Exactly. Green feathers, yeah. But moving on for that, um, you know, just having that all-inclusive, you think about where you want your money to be spent, too. What's important to you when you take these trips? Mm -hmm. um, I know for me, money's going to be spent where I am laying my head I'm not one person. I can't. Agreed. I cannot do the cheapo hotels because that's just who I am. I'll be Amen. all mm -hmm. night. I'll it's not, I it's not about, about a bougie thing. It's 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 about. I mean, it's about a clean thing. I mean, you know, but and I mean, a comfort you know, level. Actually, when you're traveling. I mean, there are some people yeah. who are okay with it, and I, yeah. so I don't want to knock that. I just know for me, I just. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't necessarily, I'm not pressed about the transportation, how I get there. I'll take a train, I'll take a bus, mm -hmm. I will drive. I don't have a problem with that. But for some people, like I'm working with someone right now uh, on a group, they're going to Cancun and the guy who's a part of the, one of the guys who's a part of the group, he's like, I'm doing first class, I do not do coach. I was like, <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have, they, I mean, if they can afford it, and that's what they want, yeah. they budget that into their. It's your prerogative. I think it's that's his prerogative. It's your prerogative. So for him, yeah. he's like, I'm going to put my money there, but he's going to cut corners in something else. I'm like, fine, because he understands how he best travels. I understand how I best travel. So if you know that you're a foodie and you don't want to eat at McDonald's every day, right? You know that you're going to have to budget for a meal mm -hmm. or meals that are going to be, you know, not mm -hmm. the, um, McDonald's and Wendy's kind. You more of a sit down, I need a menu in my hand kind. White, right. white, crisp white tablecloths, and you know, <laughs> a wine yeah. list. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. So, I mean, it's vacation, so but you know, everybody values different things. But I think, I think it, it does. Um, you, you should have a good experience. I mean, if you're going to travel, do it, do it well. I mean, have make sure you're having a good time. Um, or to me, it's not worth it to even go. I mean, if you can't afford. If you've got to cut and stay at a, you know, um, Motel Six hotel, <laughs> I mean, you're going to a nice place like the Caribbean, or even if it's in the, within the United States. I mean, you know, stay someplace nice. I mean, you can be sleeping there every night. It should be a good experience. I mean, that's me, uh, especially in Europe. And and, and um, Danielle, you can kind of, mm -hmm. I know each has been to Europe as well. Uh, I have not, I have yet to get to Europe. It's on my bucket list. But I know you've been to Paris, Danielle, and in Italy and in places, um, and you've been to Paris many times. But mm -hmm. you go, um, you know, one of the advantages of, of using a travel professional is that we have inside knowledge about some of these resorts and these um, environments that if you go book on Expedia or bookit.com and you see this cheap package price, uh, or Groupon, you don't know where you're going to stay. In Europe, it's totally different. It is. In the United States, 
a three, four, and five star rating in the U.S. is not the same in in Europe. Do you, and the Caribbean, the Caribbean too, is, <laughs> yeah, is like that, exactly. Angela. Mm -hmm. You you may wind up in Europe sleeping sleeping in a hotel where you're sharing a bathroom uh, uh, with everybody. The floor. Ooh, I, mean, wow. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. You know, that's that's me. Call me bougie. I don't care. I, I'm not sharing a bathroom with strangers. So, nope. um, but that, you know, that's what <laughs> the advantage of knowing, having that inside, because we, even if we haven't been to those exact resorts, we have inside direct connections with the, with the, uh, the, the, the different resorts and mm -hmm. uh, called the BDMs. Those are the, the, our local, mm -hmm. um, reps that, you know, can tell us everything that we need to know to help mm -hmm. us groups and, and and to give the information that you guys need and um so we can ask those those questions and they they're not gonna lie to us because they want us to book with them they want us to you know promote their hotels and and their resorts so um we you know we that's the advantage of you know another advantage of using a travel professional as well as you know setting up being a, able to help you set up payment plans but yeah uh, I want to go off and do it on their own and you don't know what you're going to get when you go to Groupon you, you, you really do not know it's hit or miss. <laughs> so. it's hit or miss some people do have good luck with things I, I think sometimes it does kind of depend on the traveler there are some people who are savvy and they mm -hmm. know but and they know but and then, so yeah, I'll give it. I'll give that to some people, but a lot of people don't. And 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 um, another one of our viewers made mention that um, hotels that serve breakfast, um, or have snacks in the afternoons or evenings. I think sometimes like hotels like Embassy Suites, so they do something like that where they have um afternoon or evening. Mm -hmm. The Hilton, Hilton brand does as well, yeah, right? Like, yeah, the exec on the executive uh, floor, mm -hmm, if you're yeah. an honors member. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, And you'll be able to save on um, save your coins by eating breakfast there, and they even have snacks. And sure, yeah, get two, three apples and take them along mm -hmm. while you do your touring and excursions. Happy yeah. hour, that's it, Gabrielle. I got it. Happy hour, yes. Yeah, they have a the lot happy of these hotels have a mm -hmm. happy hour, and I love, or even happy hour at a lot of the restaurants too. I know mm -hmm. some of the has a happy hour where they have half price appetizers. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and, um, I don't know. Of course, I'm talking about the continental U.S., but um. We travel here too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but even, even like in that. Europe, like when I went to Dubai, I stayed at the Marriott, and um, they had we had uh, we uh, the package included breakfast. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it was really good. It was mm -hmm. in the in the Caribbean uh, when we do Ultimate Trinidad Carnival, we stay at the Hilton Trinidad, and their buffet breakfast is it's like nothing I've ever seen before. <laughs> Only rivaled by Dubai. I mean, Dubai just took it to another level. Yeah, <laughs> I think we say that the Hilton Sharjah in Dubai. Well, that was in Sharjah, yeah. which is next to Dubai, but uh -huh. only rivaled by them. But that was just right, day. right. Dubai, they know how to do a breakfast spread. Oh my gosh, I never in my life had so much food. That sounds amazing. <laughs> The whole day. I mean, just you just go back and take a break, and then go back eat some more. Take a break, go, and then you're done for the day. <laughs> Pretty much. You don't need to eat it for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I had an experience yeah. like that in Durban. And that was, that was yeah, a big, South, South Africa. So mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah, nice. but they, they're, they're really big on bry and meats. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm a meatitarian. I love meat, but I oh, would okay. it's too much for me even. And that's wow. A, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. My husband is looking forward to it. When we go in 2020, he's like, I'm going to eat all the meat. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, and that package does include breakfast, right? Yes. More than you can right. eat, I promise you. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. So the last thing I wanted to chat about when it comes to um, watching your coins when you are traveling is thinking about the timing. Now, I understand that mm -hmm. um, going on a cruise during the time of year when your kids are out, the summer is usually what a lot of people want to do. But if you're trying to save a kid, you might want to consider going at the shoulder seasons, um, even hurricane season. And before you say, oh, no, I'd never go during a hurricane, 
You need to remember that these cruise ships are worth millions of dollars. These cruise lines are not going to risk their ships. They will always keep their ships safe. They sail away mm -hmm. and um, they'll take you to different ports or you skip a port. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's usually quite cheaper, quite a bit cheaper. And, and thinking about going um, times that are outside of the usual season, like going in January or February. Mm -hmm. um, on a cruise or going to all inclusives during May and the fall. Um, just all kinds of the types of vacations that you can take thinking about when it would be low season for your particular vacation choice. Right. You can make a lot of money. You yeah, can make yeah, that's a good point. The Caribbean is actually peak season is in um in the winter months. Winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, yeah because the Europeans come to the Caribbean, they get like the whole uh, month of January off so mm -hmm. to uh to the to the Caribbean islands. Um, during <laughs> they do, <laughs> they months. do. So mm -hmm. that, that's why you know flights to the Caribbean and hotels go up in the winter. Um, mm -hmm. as if you go in June, you know, you may be able to save a lot of money in June and July because it's, it's hotter then. And, <laughs> and a lot of, not as many people travel to the Caribbean. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So it's just something to think about, um, when it comes to planning and all of these things that we mentioned, they tie into each other, you know, planning early having a savings account, deciding where your money is best spent and um, the timing, they all interact into forming a plan for having uh, affordable travel. Right. Um, now, if you're trying to plan something in the next few weeks, yeah, it's too late for you to save money. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just being honest. And there's a lot of things that um, travel agents can do to save you money, but that is not one of them. We cannot right. be beat the prices that the providers offer when it comes to shortened time um, for planning. Um, there's no um, last minute cruise fares where you can get seals yeah. anymore now that they have um, a new policy on um, the immigration like, requirement. Well, is that when you think about that one too, right? Yeah, that <laughs> one too, but um, they have a, a policy now with their pricing where they don't raise it or lower it mm. um, with um, early deposits. Um, airlines do not give you a break. There's no, no they not. bereavement. No, they'll save you $10. I'm being honest. Um, $5. Yeah, <laughs> it's like nothing. Those nothing. things are myths. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are myths that a lot of times as travel agents, we find we have to kind of, I don't want to say battle, but we have to let you down and say, no, somebody told you incorrectly. That doesn't really exist. So don't bank on getting a deal by waiting until the last minute. And yeah. don't think that you're going to be able to plan to make installment payments and plans at the last minute either because it's just not the way you save money so if you know you want to travel we think the way you plan and i promise you you'll be able to travel more than you than you think you will be able to because that's mm -hmm. when deals are to be made early so early. if you have any takeaway early is the key early mm -hmm. early and you'll be good to go mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely those are all great tips danielle that's awesome <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted to, um, I know we've been probably running our mouths a lot, so, okay, it's been me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, no, um, good information. Very good information. Well, I, so I wanted to remind people of a couple of things. There are, um, we have, um, we had our live presentation last week on Paris, Riviera, and Rome. If you are interested in joining with us, please let me know. I can get you signed up right away, share with you the information. And this week, we're having our um, seminar meeting at Zwelli's mm -hmm. um, in Durham. Delicious food. Let me, yeah. let me just say the food is delicious. So... We're going to have it at Zwelly's at 6.30 this Thursday. Please mm -hmm. do 
come and join us to hear more about this trip that we're going to be taking in 2020 to South Africa. And see, here you go. You've got lots of times to plan it. Right. Really. Yes, it you've got plenty of time. Yes. Yeah, payment plan and everything. Mm -hmm. So um, make sure you join us. We're going to have a lot of really great information to share with you and you'll be able to get all of your questions answered. You'll meet me and you'll meet Andy. You'll meet all the people who are planning on going on this trip. And you'll actually meet Zwelly, who is one of the um, people well, who is the owner of Zwelly. And she is from um, the southern continent of Africa as well, the southern yeah. portion of the continent as well. So if you are interested in participating with us, please do join in. We are looking forward to meeting with you. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm hugely excited about this trip, so. Okay. That sounds um, amazing. Um, uh, sorry, Isha, go ahead. No, I said it sounds amazing. I mean, Angela, you've been telling me about it, so it, it, yeah. it just sounds amazing. And yeah. Africa is one of the continents that I haven't set foot on, so, uh -huh. yeah. Let me tell <laughs> yeah. you, I, last time, when I was in South Africa, it was a spiritual, visceral, mm -hmm. Life changing. Yeah. It was that's, life changing. I've been said. to a lot of mm -hmm. places, but that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I'll just want to see a giraffe and an elephant walk by. I'm just going to cry when I do. That's what I want to do. I just want to see a real giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see a giraffe in its natural habitat. You will. You will. Because you will. we're actually um, scheduled to go on a couple of safaris. And okay. some of the locations that we're going to be yep. um, on, um, let me see. The first one will be in the Cape, Cape Town. Um, and I can tell you, it's the Shepherd's Tree Game Lodge is mm -hmm. one of the locations. So if you want to look yeah. that up, it'll give you the opportunity to see the kind of locations that we're talking about staying in. Mm -hmm. um, and another one will be in Zimbabwe outside of Victoria Falls at Ilala Lodge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and Victoria Falls is an optional excursion that you can take, which I highly recommend. Uh, I haven't been, but um, I just hear it's amazing. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Victoria Falls, that's, you know, if you saw Black Panther, yeah. that part <laughs> where um, King Tashala, Tashala, uh -huh. yeah, King Tashala is um, getting, uh, doing that fight with Black yeah. So you want to come. You want to come. And don't think I will not be dressed like Shuri or Okoye. Yes. Hey. I'm going hey. to have a spear in everything. Listen, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That sounds like fun, guys. <laughs> yes. So we'll, um, we'll have all those links on the um, Black. Uh, family's travel page, um, as well as Isha's um, website link. And um, I just want to add, um, if you guys, you know, if you're, if you have a group of, of people um, that you want us to come and present to um, about uh, putting a package together for you guys, um, we'd be more than happy to do that. So just invite, yeah. mm. um, you know, we'd love to come and talk to you guys, um, you know, about your group. Uh, about travel, about how to put a budget together and um, and making it affordable for you guys. So that is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. So if you have a group of girlfriends and you guys want to plan a trip, invite us over. We'll help you and your girlfriends get it organized. Or so if you got a group of guys and you want to go see a football game, um, see the Panthers play. See the Super Bowl? Hey. Yes, we can plan the Super Bowl too. <laughs> That's um, right. anything. I actually have somebody who's um, contacted me. They want to do the Kentucky Derby. Oh, you know? yeah. I just want to be able to wear a hat and, and stuff, yeah. And sit, bur have the bourbon. Yeah, what's that bourbon? drink? The, the mint julep thing? Mint julep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There Stuff like that. Yes. <laughs> Stuff like that. That would be fun. That yeah. Be fun. You don't have to do this alone. This is something we can do to help you. Um, and it doesn't cost you a thing. Can we just say that? It doesn't yeah, cost you. They, our services are free. Mm -hmm. um, there's We don't charge uh, to yeah, help you with that. It's free. <laughs> so, yeah. We, we get paid by the vendors. So that's yes. how we get our commission. So we don't. 
Hard to you. No, and we genuinely like to help people. So mm -hmm. and I hope we're I hope we're approachable. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it off too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe people are like, well, I will call her. I'm not going to call her. Yeah. But that's okay. <laughs> Contact We're us. Fun. We're really fun. So, yeah. So All right. I guess yeah. that's it. Hey guys, okay. and I'm, I'm not sure if you're open to this. I'm just curious, and I don't know how many viewers, how many people are watching or anything. Um, but I, you know, I always like to hear people's bucket list, you know, like where, where would they love to travel in the next year? And since we're talking about planning, you know, nine, 12 months in advance, it would be curious to hear from, you know, whoever's watching, where do you guys want to go? You know, yeah. and that's, that's just me. I, I'm curious. I like to ask questions. <laughs> that's, good. Good question. that's, that's great, Isha. Yeah, we definitely fact, we answer, answer, you guys. started it off by answering ourselves. Where do you want to go, Isha? Where would oh you like to go? Oh my gosh. So bucket list for me is to set foot on the continent of Africa. So I've been to five out of the seven continents um, and Africa is one that I haven't been to. So okay. that's, that's my bucket list. Come with us. I know. And my bucket list will hopefully I have a, a number one and a number two, which both should be taken care of between 2019 and 2020. God willing. And that oh. bucket list is Paris. I've always wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. You will see it next one. year. Yeah. Next I'll year. Gorgeous. Yeah, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, and then bucket list number two is Africa. Yeah, I always wanted to go to Africa. So. It is I want a safari and all of that. So like, yeah, girl, I mm, it was mm. so that was my bucket list item, but I've crossed that. Yeah, <laughs> bucket list is go to French Polynesia. Oh, I want to go to Bora Bora. I, oh my God, I would love it. Or if I can't go there, I'll go to the Seychelles. Seychelles, mm. yeah. That's number three. Mm -hmm. I got to get number mm -hmm. two, number one and two cross up, but Seychelles for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Get out in that wa water with the white oh. and make a music video. <laughs> 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 Look, I just changed number three. Number three is Barbados. Crop over. Oh, yes. yes. We would yes. love to have you. Yes. Gotta go crop over. you and are. Danielle, you can make some good music videos in Barbados. Yes. You know those Absolutely. beaches. Yeah. Those yeah. beaches are gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> With your feathers, exactly. Yeah. Well, here's the one of the really unique things about crop over. The parade ends at the beach. Oh, wow. So you can... Music video feathers in the water. I'm just We're saying. doing it. We can make it happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. Look, I did that. My husband come and get me. <laughs> That's okay. No. What happens in Barbados stays in Barbados. Stays in Barbados. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to behave. <laughs> can we yeah, I'm looking for her. She won't let her go. I know. Mm -hmm. So I definitely. Am, I am going to um, VI and you can see you on Facebook Live in Barbados. I know. Yeah. Party <laughs> with your phone. Come home and I'll find all the locks changed. Ooh, girl. Mm -mm. Mess around. <laughs> So, yeah. so do folks, do please add in a listing of your bucket list places. I already see one, Australia, Ghana, Senegal, All right. Ooh, nice. Israel. I would like to go to Israel. Yeah, nice. yeah, me too. Yeah, Australia is fantastic. Loved Australia. I don't know if okay. I can handle a flight, but I'd love to see it one day. <laughs> it, it was a long flight, 13 hours from LA. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And going to LA yeah. itself is another. Yeah, LAX is not, um, not my favorite airport in the world, but you know what? We did what we had to do. Yeah. <laughs> the destination and the goal was in mind. Yeah. <laughs> think it. about that. It's worth it. Yeah. It, was, it was a long flight to go to. Um, to South Africa, 16 hours. Yeah, yeah, from um, London, right? Huh? From London? 
No. JFK, right? From Washington, Dulles. Oh, Washington. And then we stopped for one hour in Senegal so that they could refuel the plane and clean it. But we stayed in the plane. And that was so cool because, okay, this is a sidebar. And I swear I'll shut up. But we <laughs> stopped in Senegal. And that, when we stopped in Senegal, it was my first time on African soil. And the people who came into the sh the ship, <laughs> like <laughs> came into the airplane, um, they were Senegalese, who, and they, that's francophone. And so mm -hmm. I was, speaking right. to them. I was like, oh my god, I've come home, I've come home. I know they thought I was crazy, but I said, can I just stand outside for a second? And they let me come outside because I could speak the language. Hey, went out yeah. there and I stepped on the Senegalese ground, and I said, mm -hmm. I told my ancestors I had returned. And I know that sounds oh, extra, right. but I was in tears right. because I know. Oh, oh, my I know me too, Angie. I'm like, Whoo. It was It was the most amazing thing. And we and me and those Senegalese people, we hugged and I just cried. Oh, and I said, wow. I don't know if this sounds crazy, but this is, a, this is an important moment to me. And the other black people who were traveling with me, I spoke for them and they came out and they somebody took some of the dirt and they carried it with them. I'm sorry, U.S. Wow. Post. I should probably say that now when that person arrested. You didn't give their name. But, okay, I didn't give their name. But I mean, you know, took the soil back so that they could, you know, come oh. back home. Because I think, I think when it comes to going back to Africa, that is something that we do as African Americans. A lot of us feel that connection, you know, wanting to make a connection to back home where we came from. And yeah. I felt a brotherhood, a sisterhood with the people who came onto the plane from uh, Senegal and we were talking. And I said, good, we could be related. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. I'm going to say that we are my brother and my sister. We had good conversation, got back in the plane, flew off to Joburg. And that mm -hmm. was 11 hours. So it was wow. quite, the, it was quite the flight, but we flew South African Airways and that is an excellent. I, it, Budgeting for vacations. <laughs> if you can fly outside of domestic flights, do it. I prefer yes. not flying domestic. South yeah. African Airways, they were wonderful. The food was better. Mm -hmm. They were not skimpy on the wine. They would give you a bottle of wine, as many as you wanted. No problem. Mm -hmm. The food right. was good. The, it was... Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's to Dubai. And it, yeah, it's unlike anything in, in, in the U.S. Um, mm -hmm fed you nonstop. They woke you up to, to feed you. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. I think most of the way it's kind of overnight and, uh, but they were constantly giving us food and it was very good. Um, so yeah. Was that Emirates? Did you say that was Emirates, Angela? Emirates Air, yes. Oh yeah. my, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they care for you, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to fly Emirates. Got to, but yeah, yeah South period. African Air. I'm looking forward to flying that in 2020. That's going to be the uh, nice. fly to South Africa. So yeah, nice. So oh. yeah. So oh. what should I say? So Bona to all of you. Hello. I should have said that. That was the hello. My um Zulu that I learned. I learned a little Zulu and a little <laughs> uh, and all What's of that. What's the word again? Say it Glosa. again. Glosa. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. One of the languages. Mm -hmm. Nice. The click mm -hmm. language. So you'll hear that clicking all the oh. time. And all. Wow. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> they probably thought I was weird. Teach me how to click. I said, I just teach me how to click my word. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the American okay. dollar goes so much for budget number six. <laughs> Going out of the United States, the American dollar goes far in certain countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I went to South Africa. I was <laughs> making it rain. <laughs> making it rain. You could go to a lot of uh, Caribbean countries and make it rain too. You I'm can. just saying. Mm -hmm. Did you say you got like a steak dinner with all the trimmings, including dessert, for like twelve bucks? It was eight, it's eighteen. It was the equivalent of eighteen something. Uh, okay, eighteen dollars so because what they have is the rand, and it's like sixteen rands to one dollar. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That. I mean, if you did that at a uh, Ruth Chris or I mean, yeah, it was like a Ruth Chris. Yeah. yeah, that would be more like a $40, 50 dollars meal here. So, mm -hmm. 
for it sure. Easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a hot stone massage for one hour and it was like 30 bucks. Wow. Yes. Wow. Nice. I mean, nice. she was going for it. She was a 100% Zulu woman. Back in my <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> it was wonderful. Okay. I guess <laughs> we need to stop. Because yeah, we can, talk, we can talk all day. Yeah. We could. We could. <laughs> Well, I want to. I really. I want to thank you, ladies, for having me. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. Really, Isha, thank, thank you for joining it. us. You're welcome. <laughs> so, okay, guys. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll go ahead and end this this week's broadcast. Thanks for joining. Um, again, let us know where you want to go, or you know, still make a comment and let us know. Um, we want to know where you want to go, what your bucket list trip is. And don't forget to let us know if you want us to come help you plan your group trips. If you've got yes. a group of friends and you've been talking about, hey, we want to go on a group trip. Can you help us? Let us know. Just send a message to us privately or in the comments. We'll be in touch. Absolutely. Thanks, guys, for uh, watching. And give us some feedback. Give us some comments. Let us know if you think this is good and good information. We want to know. And yeah. see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. <laughs>